Hi everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now before I start today's video, make sure you click the subscribe button right now while it's fresh on your mind because I'll be adding some new videos about today's topic soon and I don't want you to miss out. Now today I'm going to reveal why having healthy blood flow is one of the most important aspects to your longevity and disease prevention. Now unfortunately, I'm going to confess to the fact that years ago, I made a huge mistake by not focusing on improving blood flow. You know, I spent a lot more time on improving my parents and clients, you know, cholesterol levels and blood pressure and blood sugar, uh, losing unwanted body fat and improving memory and cognition and so on and so forth. Now, I did this because I have a family history of heart attacks and strokes, and these are all primary contributing factors. In fact, heart disease kills more people each year than all the other diseases combined. So it was an important topic. However, what I mistakenly overlooked was the fact that all of these factors have one thing in common, and that's poor blood flow and circulation. Now, most people, including myself and other doctors, we take for granted how crucial healthy blood flow is to your longevity and vitality. Now, most people don't realize that poor blood flow can, re can lead to peripheral arterial disease, which causes numbness and nerve and tissue damage. It can lead to heart disease and atherosclerosis, which can cause a heart attack or stroke. It can lead to high blood pressure and blood sugar and diabetes, memory and cognition problems as well. Remember, your blood runs through your entire body and brain. It can also cause Raynaud's disease, which is similar to having cold hands and feet. This is a big one. It causes accelerated aging. Now, people don't realize it can cause hair loss and wrinkling and varicose veins and fat gain and muscle loss. And for guys, it can cause erectile dysfunction and impotence, even the shrinkage of penis size. In fact, there's many other problems associated with poor blood flow, but I think you get the point. Now, what you and I both need to remember is that your blood contains oxygen, which gives life to every cell in your body. Your blood contains proteins to help repair and grow muscle, hair, organs, bones, and so forth. It contains anti-aging hormones, which make you look and feel young. And your blood contains enzymes and nutrients and everything you need to live to grow, heal, and thrive. Of course, babies have the best blood flow, and you can clearly see it in the glow of their skin, their eyes and hair, and how quickly they heal and grow. Unfortunately, as we age, your blood flow isn't you know, as strong as it used to be. Plaque, heavy metals, and calcium build up in your arteries, veins, and blood vessels, reducing circulation, and thus there's less life-promoting oxygen getting to all of your cells. Unfortunately, this results in less youthful hormones and nutrient-rich blood being delivered to every muscle, organ, and moving body part. Now, because of poor blood flow, your body slows down its internal healing and cleansing process. You begin to get sick more often. You feel tired and fatigued. You become more forgetful. You have more aches and pains, and eventually you start to get injured more readily and often. Your skin loses that elasticity and that youthful shine. Your hair begins to thin and look brittle and dry. Basically, you start to look and feel old, all because of poor blood flow and circulation. Now, I mention all this because a few years ago, my dad had a stroke, despite having healthy cholesterol and blood pressure and blood sugar levels. Now, I was in shock when it all happened. However, the problem was poor blood flow to his brain. Now, I made today's video because I don't want you or someone you know to go through the same pain, suffering, and expense that my family did with my dad's stroke. I don't want you to put yourself in any health risk, including accelerated aging, all because you didn't focus on improving your blood flow and circulation. Now, under this video, I've got a link to a simple yet proven solution that improved my dad's blood flow in less than 30 days and something that you can easily copy and use for yourself. So please take advantage of it. Well, that's it for today. I hope this video gave you more clarity. If you found it helpful, please share the health with others so they can benefit as well. Also, do me a favor and please leave your comments and questions below. And most importantly, do yourself a big favor and make sure you visit the link in the description area below about the bonus video on how I improve my dad's blood flow in less than 30 days naturally and how you can copy the same proven formula. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.